Hello again. So, those of you who missed all the excitement before, I did start on time today, but my camera did not join me. My camera did not join me. So, long story short, I rebooted. Did a couple other things. When they didn't work, turned off the computer and tried again. So, today, very exciting. We are going to do the draft. That's right. Um, did not mean to click that, whatever it was. Oh, it's this thing. So, we're going to check out the store real quick. See if we got any free stuff today. And then we're going to do the draft. I don't normally do drafts. Drafts are something I need a lot of work on. I need to practice building decks quickly. Uh, between, ooh, let's see what kind of deals we have with the new pack. So they're normally a thousand. So this is only seven hundred. It is an older one. It's not the newest one, but that's okay. We will do it. She's okay, but she's not worth 1,200. This is a really good card, but um, I don't know that I even have more than any. I don't even know if I have this card at all. So, um, do I want to buy her? <coughs> no, I'm not gonna buy her. All right, so that means we now have a pack. Open up the pack. Nothing new except for this cleric. But I am. Ooh, I, I do like me some double. You know, these type of cards, I don't know what they're called. With the lands that have uh, dual sided. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library and then draw that many plus one. Okay, well, in theory, you should, that this that should be a bad card because. All of your deck should be awesome. Alright, so I was looking at this guy because he gives us the best result. He gives us... Even if we don't win, we get 50 gems in a pack. If we get one, we get 100, and etc, etc. So, we're going to go with it. Um, I don't have this many... Whatever those are, crystals... Um, but I do have a token entry, so we're going to go for it. Fingers crossed. Um, so comment, leave a comment below if you think there was a, something I missed or if I did a great job, let me know. The draft is is same thing in Hearthstone, which is a, uh, another card game. When it comes to these type of things, they have a version called, of Hearthstone called the Arena. It's the same thing, pulls up three cards at a time when you pick one. And I'm like, okay, I'll start with trolls. One troll, yes. Not any other trolls in the whole time. Um, so I'll switch to skeletons. And now, one skeleton later, I have a troll and a skeleton and nothing else. So we'll see how this works. Oh, ready, sorry. They were waiting on me. You can tell I don't do this very often. What do we got? What do we got? Let's take a look. Invasion of the Giants. Scry, draw. Alright, so this is all about Giants. Do I want to go there yet? For one, okay. Do I want to start that s this soon? Do I want to go with the red? Here's a giant here. 
Let's, let's, let's go with him. Again, not sure what I'm doing. But let's see if that works. Alright, so I had there's one red, a fearless pup. basically gives my person flying. So we want to be blue and red. Is that what we're thinking? Ooh, what does this dude do? No, not for tea. Other snow and zombie creatures get plus one, plus one. For three snow, that means I'll have to have snow lands. I'm going to go with this one, actually. It's a nice little... I like him. What else we have? Uh, that means that would put me as green. That's a six drop, though. Four, four, four. I like that. Ooh, I'm gonna grab this one instead. Don't like that. That's not bad. Keep me with my red. I don't like the fact that there's no other red cards here. I like that. Um, it, uh, because I don't have anything that's doing that. Uh, go with that. Nothing. All right. So it's a removal spell, but very complicated. Why not you just have a destroy target creature? Boom. I don't know, I like Finn, but... No more red. I don't like it. Artifact, enchantment, or creature. With flying. Giant. For six, no, thank you. Here we go. Now I have some reds. Can't block alone.
I like that one. Is a four, 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 four. No, I'm gonna confirm it. No reds at all, okay. Alright, so the four tail is a new one. I don't know what this is. It's during your turn, you pay two, exile it, and then cast it later on a later turn. Okay, well, I'll go for it and try to see if I can figure this stuff out. That was a little scary. Counter target artifact or enchantment spell. All right, so now I'm gonna have to do something. Let's see, there's I'm gonna have to switch colors here. I've seen a lot of blue and a lot of black. Ooh, what did it give me? What did it give me? Shoot, give me the swamp. All right, so that learned me right there. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Two, four, two, two. Don't I have a tormentor's helm? I don't know. Stop, stop, get out. All right, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to take my, the dude. There we go. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's go with... Um, giant Ox. Smashing success. All right, now I have to pick one of these, okay? Tap and untap creature control to add a color of any color, or... I got the blue. Okay, I got the blue. Good. All right, pack two, baby. Pack two, here we go. I am now blue. Like that one. What else we have? Dumb, I don't like it for three. It's crazy. So it cost me two, and I can pay it two for one. She's not bad. We can go with that one. It's nice. Do I have any giants? I have one giant. Six damage for five. It's not bad. I'll take that one. Glimpse the cosmos. All 
I'll definitely take that. Another same dude I already have. Dwarf Berserker for three. Wait a second, what does this do? Draw a card. This creature gets plus one. Equipment, plus one in haste. All right, that's fine. I'll stick with that. Create two dwarfs. Target spell. <coughs> Four or less. All right, let's go with this one. I like that counter spell. Go for it. Right, what do we have? Comes in tapped. This is white and blue. Run ashore. The owner Nala proposed at the top of the library. One or both for six. Miss Walker gets plus one minus one for two. Miss minus three attack. Is that helm I like? Didn't like her before. Two or two one. He's not bad though. I probably should have done that one. Gives me this one. What does this guy do? Okay, sure, go for that one. Give me a chance to get him back, so that's good. Don't want any of these. Um, sure, I'll take that just to uh, so that no one else can get it. I'll take my blue. Take him so no one else can get it. I have no choice. Another pack, okay. I am blue and red, what is this? Crush the reek, ooh, blue and red. Draw two cards and then discard a card. Oh, that's stupid, but the first two are cool. Cost five, but let's see. Crush the reek, two damage to each creature. Dwarven Hammer. Plus three in Trample. No, I'm happy with what I got. Blue and red, blue and red, what do we have? Changeling. And let's see, what else is this? See the spoils. Breakneck Berserker. Mm. 
I'm gonna go with this one actually, I like that better. Hey Dan, appreciate the lurk, thank you so much. Drive safe, man, especially once you get those little kidlets in the car. I know you would, but uh, I appreciate the lurk very much. Seven though, man. I'm gonna go for it just because I don't have a lot of high cost cards. There's the helm again. Um, I don't mind him either, the giant again. Raven form. I like the raven because if he's done something to my creatures, I can change it into a bird. So I like that idea, but um can't block, but that doesn't mean you can't attack or anything. Um... Smashing success. Do I have a smashing success? I do. Okay. I do like him. What does he do? Depart the realm. Return target to its owner's hand. It's a giant. I don't know if I'll ever use its um, a incoming ability, but it's a cool card. Take that one, thank you. Alright, so do I wonder if we do this again? Well, it says 37 out of 40, so I guess we don't. Ooh, what's this guy? What is this guy? Crypt 2. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, I took it now. Alright, there's a Crush the Reek. Each creature. I'm going to bring him again. I'll uh, just take him so no one else will. Stupid. I still get to mess with the deck now. Yes, I do. Okay. Alright, so let's see what I've got. I've got um, lots of blue and white. I mean, uh, so I'm blue and red. Seven and six. What's my. 14 creatures, 23 non creatures. 
I have 15 blue and 15 red. So that's 30. That's half my deck. Wow, that's amazing. One, 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 one. Cancel. I want to get out of here. Okay. Do I want to mess with these white freaks? Put him back in. I have a planes. I have this one. Add a white. Okay, so that's it. Um, I am blue and red, so I'm going to go with our, my, my coolest back drop, I think. And I think I'm going to go with this dude. This, uh, I like this. That's my image. All right, not that it matters. All right, so let's get some lands. Let's see, lands. Nothing now. All right, so do I? Can I use the multi lands? Doesn't look like we can. All right, so um, nope. How many cards do I have? Fifty-five out of. Oh, I only had to have forty cards. So I'm done. I'm gonna take the wings out. I don't have to have that many cards. All right, folks. Well, hey, hard sparks done. Now let's see. If I have the luck of the deck. And that's awesome. I have no lands. I have to mulligan. There we go. I'll keep that. So this costs four. That costs five. Stick him down below and we're done. Alright, so. Discard a card. If you do, draw a card. That is awesome. Okay. What? I didn't get rid of him? Okay, well, good. I'm glad. Alright, so... That was not a wise life choice. I just presumed because I have so many cards. How can I cast him? Oh, I can do it with Fortel. Alright, so... Next combat. All attacks. So he only costs two. Fortel. So now I just pay two. And I can bring in my reinforcements. Cool, cool, cool. He's also a Fortel. Okay. Next to combat. So 
so he'd be stupid to block it because yep go for it so these this fortella is actually saving my butt because I'm not getting any lands I have like 50 cards, 30 of which are lands, and I'm not drawing any lands. Next match I'll probably do nothing but lands, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Yeti. Just not getting the lands I need. Yay, I have a land. All right, so now what does he do? You can control target until the end of the turn. Whenever the creature deals damage. Okay, so I can... That's a sorcery. So I could then attack with all of everybody. That'd be pretty cool. Let's bring him in first. I'm absolutely putting it in the graveyard. All right, let's go to combat. You know, spend your land to do it. Good. So that answers that question. Alright, so now I have a better idea of how the snow works and how the... Nice! So I'm going to take him right now. Right now. Okay, see, now I'm getting my lands, so that's good. What's this do? At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. Very nice. I like that. Alright, let's, let's, let's do some attacking, shall we? Boom. Boom. Um... Gonna do their home slice. Again, probably not the best choice. But now he has to figure out what he's gonna do. Because I'm going to do five, 17 points of damage to his face hole. So he's gonna kill his spider. That brings him down to eight, kills two of my creatures. He still has his worm. Alright, alright, alright. So, let's see. I have four. If I get one more land, I can squash and kill his freaking... ...worm. What did he do to get that back? What just happened here? Oh, this is a changeling. Okay, so we cast a spell that turned it into that. Alright, so what does this do? Destroy target artifact or land? He is not. Nope. Nope. Okay. He 
This is 14. He doesn't have trample on anything, so we're going to go ahead and bring this in. How did he get life back? Was there a lifelink or some bull crap? He's cool. Alright, so we're, I'm done. We're done. So let's see. There it is, changeling. No attacks. I didn't see how he gained his life back, but that's okay. I don't know. I don't see a spell. I don't. Nothing has life link. Put it on top. I can't anyway. Tokens. That's game. Cool. But if I at least learned some of these new um, mechanics, so that's cool. We are playing again. Here we go. Alright, so I have two lands. He plays for two, he plays for three. <sighs> Man, you're killing me here, folks. This happened last time, too. He plays for five. For six, holy crap. He plays for six. This is a snow cover swamp. He plays for five. He plays for f three. Oh, wow. Um, what am I going to put put away? I think I'm going to have to put him back. He costs for six. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to bring, bring him in. He costs only three less, though. What to do, what to do. Alright, let's get rid of this one. I don't know. I, I just didn't know what to do. If I had kept the swamp, I would have been able to play the swamp, bring either of these in like last turn. So frustrating. Uh. Okay, now I have a bunch. What happens? Foretell a card or an instant or sorcery. Okay. You may put a land tapped. If we attacks, you may search your and battlefield attached to this. Okay, so let's go with this. All right, so I did not realize how this worked. This is a terrible, terrible card. 
and I think I have two of them. That is awesome. And by awesome, I mean horrendous. <sighs> what does this cost? Two to equip. Okay. Alright, so this is a huge mistake. I now know how that works. I search the hand library hand and our graveyard for a rune card. I have one rune card, I think. Put it onto the battlefield attached to this. What's up, Parker? Hello. It's three o'clock. All right, so my dog is bugging me because he wants to wander around outside. Okay. Graveyard. He doesn't have a card in his graveyard. What? When he enters a battlefield, search the library for an instant or search with the same name as a card in your graveyard. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. So, how could he do that when he didn't have. Parker, I can't take you out. Okay, no. <sighs> so once again, I have killed myself. So, oh, here we go, here we go. Let's see. So I can pay two. He gets a plus one, minus one. And he's flying and changeling. All right, so this one is really confusing. So let's go ahead and do this so I can at least figure this out before I die. Search my library hand for a rune card and I put it, attach it to the crown because it's ruined. So I'm searching my library. It is attached to him. Draw a card. So now, equipped creature gets plus one, and equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. And haste. Gotcha. Okay. So I am passing the turn. So now I know how that works. It costs me two to equip it. I can bring him in. Plus one, plus one will be three, three. Will be four, three. Pass. I'm passing my turn. Wow, okay. I am not getting any lands. Holy crap, what's wrong with this? I thought I had 30 lands. Why am I never getting lands? How goes the magic magicking? 
Well, the Tomakiro Squad... I'm learning a lot. We'll, we'll put it that way. Um, beyond that, I'm getting my butt kicked. Just because... Um, actually, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna put him in there. And then we're gonna equip the crown to him. So, this is a draft. So, what happens is, you open up a bunch of packs. You look at each pack, pick one card, and they rotate until all the cards are gone. Um, and do that three times. I am not... I don't have a lot of experience with that. And so, like, with this one, I was like, well, I'll go with red. And then the red dried up really fast. So, I ended up having to switch to red and blue. Um, and then I picked like this card, I picked like, I think two or three of these, thinking, oh, this is awesome. This card is not awesome. It is the opposite of awesome. Because I misunderstood, I didn't know exactly how crew meant, what crew did. So, yay, I finally got another land, so that's going to help me a little bit. Okay, I can do this. There we go. Six damage to a creature. Let's do this right now. Boom. Let's see. This is... Uh... Whenever you catch your second spell, gain two life. I'm going to go ahead and kill him anyway. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. And now I'm going to cast this guy for his foretell cost. Or do we want to wait and target enchantment? Nope, I'm going to bring him in. But I am learning how a couple new uh, mechanics, like foretell. Pass the turn. Alright, so now that he's flying, I should have attacked with him. That's alright. So now I can attach this to him. There we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now, here we go. Four damage to each non-giant creature and each planeswalker. This is a giant. He is not. He is not. How much does it do? Four? He is a giant. So it would kill two of his creatures. That's it. So it's not worth it. Let's go ahead and equip him. There we go. Could take him over, but I'm not going to right now. So let's just go to combat. Now he'll come in flying. I can stop this, can't I? Artifact or enchantment? Nope. Okay. Alright, so he could become a 4-3, she could become a 3-4. First of all, I'm going to bring him in. There we go. And a turn. Learning through defeat. Yes, sir. Counter target spell with four or greater. Okay, so that costs two. Alright, so if he combines all three, he could block me. Uh, is this an instant? It's a sorcery. Okay. So let's go next to combat. Next to attackers. Let's have him attack, see what he does. He's probably just going to block with one of his oxes. 
Yeah, so that was a mistake. Maybe he'll be scared and wonder what I'm doing. So, she can tap for one, and he can make somebody have, actually no, I won't pass the turn, because I can cast, well yeah, I will. Alrighty, so he has tons of land, I only have five, I need one more, and I can bring him in. I don't understand why he would ever do this because he has flash which means you can cast him anytime just as as you feel fit but he enters tapped so normally you do that they attack you you throw your, your flash card on there surprise but he's tapped he can't block so what's the point i don't understand anyway We are going to pass the turn. And then what I'm going to do, just because I can, is I'll cast him when he ends his turn. Just for fun. Return target non land to its owner's hand. Actually, I'm going. How much does it cost? It costs two. I cannot stop it because it's not. Uh, so that's fine. Resolve. Actually, no, I don't want to pass the turn. Wow, his bear doesn't interact at all. That's weird. Usually the pets do. Alright, we're doing it. Okay, equipped creature gets plus one plus one, deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Okay, so we have all these choices now. Let's go with... Equipping him. So he's now a 7-7, seven, seven, so I can kill his oxen. I can bring him in and equip him also. I'm going to. highlighted next is this an artifact oh for tell card oh cool okay next to attackers so we'll do that in a minute boom one attacker all right buddy what are you gonna do see if he kills one of his oxen He is. Next to damage. One last ox to worry about. The other one is a t artifact or enchantment. So... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm not. I'm gonna wait. He has no cards. Just mess. Forget it. I'm gonna go for it. Let's take a chance. And a turn. All right. So we'll see how this plays out, because he's top decking, and that means he's 
drawing card and then playing it so he only has he has no cards in his hand basically each turn and he drew a land so he's getting boned the opposite of what I am he's getting too many land I'm not getting enough so my gamble paid off I didn't need to save this card Power of one or more. There we go. Okay. For crap's sake. Uh, well, at least I learned. At least I know now. Okay, so let's see. First of all, bringing him in. Second of all, bringing him in. Alright, so now... All, I don't have to tap three creatures. I only have to tap one creature of three or more to use this card. Okay. So we're going to tap him. Submit. And now we're going to tap him to give him haste. So now, go to combat. Boom. What? No, 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 cancel. Next two attackers. There we go. Boom. Boom. Two attackers. All right. All right, I'll get this eventually here. So that's... Okay, so it's not as crappy as I thought it was. I just have to tap one creature with a power of three or more, and he becomes the boat. Gotcha. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do then is... Let's end the turn, pass the turn. So I think next turn I'm going to switch gear and equip this to something else. Let's see. Resolve. It's a 2-2 two -two creature with lifelink. Pass to attackers. I'm going to steal his story seeker. Alright, what does this do? Create two Berserker tokens. Okay, and I can cast two, and then the next turn I can cast two to do it. Alright, so first of all, let me try my... Let me do this. This costs what? For three? Boom. Second of all... I want to move this one to him. Okay. Do they have haste? They do not. Next. Next to attackers, yes. He's attacking. His story seeker's attacking. Do I want my cavalry to, to attack as well? Yes. And him, go. All right, Whew. I managed to win one. That is awesome. All right, so I have a much better grasp of the crew mechanic, of 
for tele mechanic. <sighs> and I actually won. That's what's amazing to me is I actually won. Yeah. So I'm now up to a hundred gems in a pack. Yeah. Alright, let's play this again. He costs two. Okay, let's go. Keeping it this time. This is my Fortel guy, so I can cast him with only two. Yeah, so... I'm feeling better. I was feeling pretty crappy, to be honest. Um, not very happy with how the draft had went. But... I'm getting a W. The W M under my belt. Helped. I am discarding him. To draw a card, thank you. Glimpse the cosmos. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and rest in the bottom of your library. As long as you control a giant, you may cast a glimpse cosmos from a graveyard. Nice. What is this? Re replicating a ring. Add one mana of any color. Beginning your upkeep tonight. Put a knight counter on a replicating ring. If it has eight or more knight counters, remove all of them and create eight snow artifact tokens named ring to add. A Holy crap. Alright, so I definitely want to kill him when I can. Let's put him down. Boom. All right, let's have three cards, put one of them in my hand, the rest in the bottom of your library. All right, let's go. Boom. One in my hand. That costs three. I don't want that. That costs two. Four. I really don't need the land. Give me this. All attack. All right, counter target artifact or enchantment for one. Good, good. Alright, so, he's a 3 for 3-3. Three, three. Absolutely, let's do this. And he costs 1, okay, I'll attack. So, I believe, with the boast... Protection from God creatures. When Sigrid enters the battlefield, exile up to one target attacking or blocking creature until he leaves the battlefield. Okay. So he's not a God creature. Okay. Gotcha. Well, that was a good card. Absolutely. Let's go with, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring him in. Find my speed rune, because it's the only rune I have in my whole deck. only have one card. It's a rune. It's my library somewhere. There it is. Boof. And I get to draw a card. All right, moving on. I don't have any land. I need land, people. What does this thing do? Warriors get plus one, plus one. Okay, are you a warrior? You are. Okay. Nice. There's my land that I wanted. Okay. Um. What are these two ones? Okay. Share a creature type, huh? That's a dwarf berserker, and he's a dwarf berserker. So let's foretell for two. Let's 
I think I'm bringing in my pick. Alright, so I've got four turns to get rid of that stupid ring before it goes nuts. Meanwhile, I'm sitting on three. Here we go, here we go. Non-land permanents in graveyards and library can't enter battlefield. And players can't cast spell from graveyards. Okay, well I don't I have a card in here I want to cast. If I control a, a giant. Alright, so let's see. Foretell, I can bring in him in and him. I was hoping to get a freaking <sighs> mountain. Alright, so I can now attach this to one of them if I wanted to. Let's go for it. So he now has haste. So do I want to stop him from hurting me next time? He has first strike, so no, we're just going to attack. So that brings him down to 17. All right, so. What did he just do? At the beginning of your turn, lose one life unless you sacrifice a creature. Okay. Sacrifice a creature? Um, sure, I'll take that action. Oh, here's a swamp. Okay. I just messed myself up again. All right, I should have saved it. I'm just messing things up all over the place. All right, so he's a 3-3. Three, three. That'll give me... Boom. It's a 4-3. Do I have two? Oh, he's an equip of one. Oh. There we go. Go to combat. He's, he's got good cards, man. What does this do? Return target creature card from a graveyard to your hand. Okay. What is this? He's a just a giant. Okay, so that doesn't help me. Actually, he is a giant. So that does help me. Because now I can cast that card. Her from the graveyard. Alright, put one of them into my hand and the rest in the bottom. Well, shoot. Shoot, fire, tarnation. Let's see. I don't really need black. Let's go with um, red. Alright, so... Next to combat. No attacks. We're gonna go to a big guy. Next turn, he gets his ring. He's sitting at five cards. His ring is gonna let him cast everything. Until next turn. 
all damage that we dealt to creatures you control dealt to that damage in to creatures instead. All right, so his first strike, I'm going to attack with him. Absolutely. So let's do this for its full cost. What? I have to do it as a foretelling? Can't do it as a normal... Sp what? Oh. Fart, fart, Nakra. All right, do I want to attach him to something? Awesome. I have been waiting for that. Now I've got it. That is awesome. Yes, yes, and double yes, and yes. Can I do all three? Yes, I can. Okay. Here's this. Boom. for me. Next. Oh, resolve all. Next. Thank you. Okay. I won too. Holy crap. Uh, 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 I'm so excited. Whew. I don't know if I have to keep playing. Uh, I've got to a few more minutes. So thanks for hanging with me if you're watching me this long. Ooh, I got 102 cents. I actually won something. Alright, so. I'm now up to 250 gems. Nice! Two packs. Nice. Um, okay. <sighs> so my... Yes, Atomic. I'm shocked. I don't think I've ever won two games in draft before. Um, about 90% sure I haven't. I know I've won one. A lot of times, but I uh, don't think I've ever won two in a draft before, so. Yep. This special deck will go away once we're done with this draft. 
and I'll never see it again. Keeping it this time. Okay, here we go. What have I got? What have I got? Don't know what this is. Target creature plus three, plus three, and trample. Okay. Chant the permanent. Um, throw him down. All right, I don't have any creatures except for him. So I, uh, let's go ahead and take him out. I put one in my hand. He's a pretty good card. It helped me out last time, but I, I'm going to wait. Uh, let's see. I don't need a lot of land right now. I'll, I'll bring in my veil. Not thrilled with those three, but the nice thing is I got rid of two cards I really don't need right now. So, Meanwhile, what's he doing? He's got a one, two. To add a color. Cool. All right, boy, oh, I'm getting lots of land. So for now, I'm gonna make, let him think I'm all blue. All right, what you got there, home slice? Sure, graveyard. There you go. See, he interacts like you're supposed to. Those of you who haven't seen my pet before, you can bap him and he makes a noise. Let's see, what does this do now? Oh, yes, I remember. Dogged Pursuit. Okay, now I'm getting hosed with land. Too much land. Alright, so he does one damage. So right now I'm good with this. What does this do? Artifact or enchantment? Um, it's an enchantment. I just didn't have any land available, so could have stopped that from happening. All right, so let's see. If I put it on a creature, it's plus one in haste. You know what? I'm going to wait. So let's see what he does. He doesn't have any spells that he can cast, so he's take it and like it. Is this an instant? No, this is an enchantment. Okay. This is an instant, though. One last catch if you control a giant or a wizard. He is a zombie rogue, so he's neither one. When he comes in, search my library for an instant or sorcery card, the same name as a card in my graveyard. Okay, I don't have any more of those. Reveal it, put it in your hand, and show for your library. Alright, so it doesn't matter. So he's sitting on all this land. It's a little scary. He's got four cards. I don't have it. But I can now cast this. Attack. Because he's a giant. So I can now cast this. Again. And exile it. So that's pretty cool. I just don't like that he has all this land. And all these cards. He's just not casting anything. I don't like it. Plus, I had to use up all my cards again. So I'm saving this. I have like one black card in my deck. So I got there by mistake. Um, just to see what's happening. All right. Interesting. Okay. First of all, we throw him down. Uh, 
top three cards of a library, put one of them in your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Well, that's the same thing as this. Okay, so let's do this. Boom. One into my hand. Boo, I don't don't like to have to discard those two, but dumb card. Okay, I don't want to I wanna keep one, so I'm gonna go one, two, three. Oof. This time a little search in my hand. Oh look at that, there it is. Uh -huh. Alright, so now is this an instant? It's a sorcery. Okay, so now we go to combat. He is going to attack. All right, so let's see what's going on. Okay. Wow. That was harsh. Well played, well played. All right, so now my giant can come in. So, alright, so I'm gonna do it. Let's cast him. I need to get some cards out here, folks. Shapeshifter has flying, artifact, or land. Let's get him. Combat. I'll be able to do three more damage to me if I just let it go. So for now, we're going to do no attacks. And then I'm going to bring him in for blue. Comes in tapped. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. Oh well. Again. So that wasn't because I didn't understand how it, the mechanics, that was because I didn't read the card. So. That's okay though, because he didn't cast an enchantment, so it was okay. What does this do? Return nar target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Okay. He costs six. He is a five six. Okay. So let's just wait. Go to combat. He has one, two, three, four. Alright, I'm gonna have him attack. Are you gonna sacrifice all your critters to kill it? Are you? Are you? Are you? Or not. Alright, well, let's end this turn, baby. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and drop him at the end of his turn if I don't do anything else. That's the plan. He's a god creature, so art, uh, or, or an artifact, but he didn't cast it as an artifact or I could cancel it. Alright, next. Alright. Non creature spells your opponent casts with converted cost four or greater cost two more to cast. Wow. Let's do that instead. Uh, 
He'll bring it to my hand, and, so, and then he won't. See? That's how you do it, folks. <laughs> All right, what does this do? Yeah, it's stupid. Pass. All right. So I'm definitely not going to win, but we're having fun. Cast this for the Fatal cost. This will stop him from doing two, but I'd rather bring him in instead. Really? Okay, I don't have anything, so decline. Do we want to hold him back to block? Sure. No attacks. So, as, uh, there's probably no way I can win this game. I don't, can't think of any, any way to do it. But, uh, like I said, I've had fun. She's gonna do two damage to me. Discard a card, huh? Well... I'm gonna get rid of... this. Because I've never used it. Alright, well that was fun. Two, two defeats. One more. It is... 342. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. I'm very close to finishing my... quest for the day. If I get one more win, I get a thousand gems. But like I said, I've never won two. To my, to my remembrance, so I don't expect to win three. Alright, so I can play one, two, three with these two, four, five. I'm gonna play all but one. So we will keep them. Alrighty, so it's been a roller coaster of emotion today. Strategic planning. Discard those cards, baby. Discard them, discard them. That's what I like to see. Discard. Alright, throwing him down. Okay, so first of all, she comes in. She, we're just gonna put her in so I can have somebody who can attack. Next, we'll go with him. And I think I'm just going to cast him normal. Forget the foretell. Because why wait till next turn, you know? One to the face, boom. Alright, so he has black, blue, and white right now. So I'm not sure where he's going with this. Another blue. Okay. With these draft decks where you're juggling cards and taking cards you don't really need and it's not made to your exact specifications, that strategic planning can help. So now he's got two sw two swamps. And he's got two in there, sitting in there as as Vertel. So I creature gets haste if I throw her down. 
All right, let's see. Throw down the island. Put her down. Go to combat. All attack. Play him at his foretell cost. So now, next turn I can bring two dwarfs in. I have a swamp down. Hey, I know you. Alright, so let's go to combat. All my guys are attacking. Because I can afford to take one damage to do five or four. Okay, now we bring him in. Then I'm gonna bring in my spawn. So the Fortel cost is one blue, okay. I can afford to pay it at its full price. Alright, so he just killed his creature to draw two cards. So much land. So much land. Plus her. So he can cast her too. Alright. Let's go for it, dude. Okay, so cool. We can bring this guy in for three. Alright, so this is all return to said. This one is spell with four greater. Okay, next to combat. Next to attackers. I'll do all attack minus these two. Alright, so he's down to 10. If I can get any of my equipment, then I'll have a 3 and I can bring in a 4 instead. So. I'll definitely put the equipment on him. Ah, the stupid replicating ring. Resolve. What is this? Non land permanent. Yes! <laughs> so, what I'm happy because destroy all creatures. This costs 5. I can. Stop this. So I'm happy because not only did I stop him from destroying all creatures, oh, that was that was game changer right there. I would have lost. Um, but this puppy can put him back in his hand after he has seven tokens on it. So that's so I'm so happy. We discard a card. Yes. Excellent. I will do that all day. Boom. Another one of those. Okay, I don't need this right now. I wonder if I can tap... He's an artifact vehicle. I wonder if I can tap one to pay for the other. Alright, one, two, three. I don't want to do that yet. Next to combat... Boom, boom, boom.
total power three or more. Okay, I did not realize that. Again, I'm still learning this stuff. Alright, so next turn I will definitely do that. So next turn I can tap these two, for example, or him and him, to bring him in. I can still do it, actually. So that's cool. Attack with your chick. Resolve. Five damage to tapped creature. What is this? This is my creature. Do I want to bring her back? Nope. Go for it. I'll give him... I'll give him that. happening here. My turn. Okay, here's another land. Alright, so... <laughs> Let's do this again. Click. Any number of creatures with total power 3. Wow. Click. And click. Submit. Wow. <sighs> Next. I've, what, this is my fourth or fifth game with this card, and I just realized how that works. Next to attackers. Alright, so he will kill him, he will kill him. Two attackers, baby. It is a land. Nice. What? Take that action. Okay, thank you. Next to blockers. Exile, target, creature or planeswalker. Okay, go for it. Not caring that much because you all know. <laughs> Look at that, I have another one. All right, so he's down to nine now. My turn. Okay, so now I could save him as a reserve. <sighs> that betrayer king, man, Narfi. It's tough, it's tough. I'm not sure what to do now. <sighs> do I want to bring him in? Or, or save it. You know what? I'm going to play a little cautious. And we're going to pass the turn. Doing it. All right. So I can bring. <laughs> My turn. Okay. All right. Well, he has plus one in haste. Okay. I think I'm gonna hold on to this and hope for my uh, my ruined crown. Let's do this this time. 
Boom. One. Two. Bring him in. Next to combat. Next to attackers. Alright, what are you gonna do, home slice? You gonna sacrifice one of your creatures f to block him? Yay, I get to do him. Nice. So I'm gonna exile one of my creatures. What? Are you kidding me? Wow, that was not what I... Oh, because he can do it with his lands. But he only has one swamp. He only has one. He only has one... Okay. Oh, that counts as one. Okay. My bad. Ice tunnel. That's cool. Now recast a spell from anywhere other than your hand draw card. Yep, I've seen him. My turn. Alright, so now I was excited because I could kill him. Kill, like, this guy. Target artifact or creature to bring in a bird. He has a bird now. It's 2-2. Two, two. Mine's a 1-1. One, one. I'm going to do it anyway. My full cost. Kill him. And I'm passing the turn. owner's hand. Okay. I think it's time to do so. Turn target creature card. Okay. Yeah. I'm just not getting the cards I need now. I was doing well, but then he just survived too long. Does have three eyes. Okay. You going to attack my friend? Nope. Nice. Okay, so now... <sighs> Let's try that. Let's see. I wonder if that works. I'm going to try it. I'm going to lose the game anyway, so I'm going to bring him. To my side. So I am controlling it. Return to its owner's hand, though. I'm not controlling it. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Alright, so I will sacrifice one, two. Doesn't work. 
Alright, so I guess my question will go unanswered for now. Next we go to combat. Boom. And that will end the turn. Alright, he needs what? Eight? Eight, okay. And it's four o'clock. I'm gonna have to sign off after this one. Alright, and I'm conceding. I'm just not getting the cards I need. It's taking forever. Um, could have gone either way. Honestly, I think uh, he would have won eventually. But if I drew next couple cards, were exactly right. But it's date night. And my wife comes first. Alright, so I could play. I could finish these two quests. So I got my lands, 30 blue spells, good. And I have my 3 losses, so let's get these two. 215 two and 2 packs. Very nice. Alright, well, we went through all that work. Let's open up our packs. And we will call it a day. So thanks for hanging with me, folks. Okay. Ooh, a blue one. I like that. Ah, this was so bad. I'm gonna... If the, I had a... Uh... Hey, the replicating ring. Yay, I like that one a lot. Um... Alrighty, so this is each player's two creatures. Ah, he just played that against me. This is supposedly, supposedly really good. Uh, I do. I like it. I agree. Every time he attacks. Wow, that's nice. 
and he's a one drop. Wow, that is really nice. Saw it coming. Okay, that's cool. Blue and green. It's cool, I say. Doesn't tap when it comes in either, so that's cool. Alright, so. Had fun. Earned a little bit of. Things. So you can see why I don't pay for them. Because. It's too expensive. For not enough return. Because I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't have the experience I need to do the drafts. But hey, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I learned quite a bit um, about the crew and different mechanics. So that was nice to, to finally have those in my brain pan up here. Um, so like, subscribe, follow me on Thursdays at 2 when I do this every week. But whatever else you do, enjoy the rest of your day.